Hello Hattrickers, in this video we go over the new starting experience in Hattrick introduced along with the homegrown league back in May. This new Hattrick starting experience is a very nice way of Hattrick to provide some more interesting choices in the beginning of your Hattrick career, but it does actually make things a little more complicated if you want to start optimizing early on. There's also an option to get started with keeper training with very decent trainings without going into the traditional market and I'll show you later in this video. So the new starting experience is divided into two phases, the football philosopher phase and the interactive choices for the first 18 days. The football philosophy phase is before you start your team and this is where you pick your approach to footballing in general. The interactive choices are, as I said, in the first 18 days, nine choices. The first three is about training. The last six is about specific player choices. Right, so let's uh, take a look at the football philosophy choices before you actually start your team. And I know for some people you may have already started your team and you can't do anything about this. But if you are on the verge of starting or you're planning to open a new club, you can take this into consideration. Right, so the football philosophy choice comes with three options. The first one is the defensive approach. You get a defensive coach and you get the formation experience with 541 set to excellent. You get one 18 year old defender with excellent eight defense instead of solid defense. You trade this in for a forward who starts out with passable scoring instead of solid. The balanced approach gives you a neutral coach, 442 is set to excellent, and then you will have balanced players for the chains, meaning they would all be solid at seven. The offensive approach gives you an offensive coach, it'll set 343 to excellent, and it will give you an 18 year old forward at excellent eight scoring instead of solid. You trade this in for a defender, starting out at passable six defense. This is what goes on before you actually start your team. If you picked your philosophy already, too bad, you can't really do much about it at this time. Let's move on to the actual choices. Choice one to three is about training, as I said. On day two, you'll get the option to pick a formation boost, and that means you can set another formation to excellent formation experience. On day four, you get to choose a future coach. This will be a player with high leadership at passable or higher experience. The good thing here is if you choose a leadership coach, you can convert him after a season and you'll have a level four coach with passable leadership. Or you could choose to convert the more experienced coach. You can even get an excellent coach here, but he will have lower leadership. On day six, you can choose to use a skill boost and you will instantly boost the player one level in his highest skill. Choice four to six is a little different because these are the first player choices. On day eight, you get to choose between a young or an old keeper. The older keeper will be more experienced and will not be worth much as a trainee. On day 10, you get the same choice for a defender. And on day 12, this choice is regarding a wingback. Choice seven to nine are for the more offensive players. Day 14, you get to choose between a young or old playmaker and day 16, it's winger. And the final choice coming up on day 18, where you choose between a young or an experienced forward. There is one way that you can get very decent trainees from these player choices. And the way you do this is by going for combo of picking the defensive approach and picking a young goalkeeper. You then choose to boost the young defender. You get set to excellent defense to formidable defense on the third choice. This way you would be able to train two goalkeepers, a traditional trainee with higher goalkeeping and an untraditional goalkeeping trainee starting out with formidable defense at the age of 17. The rest of the players you would choose would be the experienced players and I would recommend to boost 343 or 352 in formation experience in order to get started with your team. With the initial squad and all these player choices, you'll have a lot of players to choose from and you will have more than enough. I would even go as far as saying your squad will be quite bloated. So you'll have to come up with a way of getting rid of some of these players. And you also have to consider, do you want to fire or sell? Every time you put a player up for sale, it'll cost you 1000 euros. While firing a player will be free, 
The minimum transfer fee you can get from a transfer is also 1000 euro. So you need to get at least two bits on a player in order to get anything from selling. So often I would recommend straight up firing your surplus players. It would actually take some luck to gain just a little value from an actual sale. So keep this in mind. As always, if you are completely new to Hattrick, you should be talking to a mentor. A mentor would be able to guide you whether to fire or sell a given player. Another recommendation for starting out Hattrick is to run with as few players as possible, simply because every penny you don't spend is earned in the end. And initially for most players, Hattrick is about getting established, making some money, because you don't start out with a lot. If you did come up with another good combo, please let me know in the comments. And if you do like the idea of the goalkeeper training plan presented in this video, check out this video up here in order to learn more about goalkeeper training. Thank you so much for watching.